Okay, welcome everybody to Bishop Conley High School, uh, the France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts, where the Bristol Community College Bayhawks take on the Mass Bay Buccaneers. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks starting off the season hot, 6-0, and oh, and they're going against the Mass Bay Buccaneers in a rematch of last year's MCCAC fi semifinals and last year's New England Regional 21 finals. And I'm here along with Craig Salvador to join us, the Portuguese Cowboy. And we're going to send it down for the start lineups for both teams. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Mass Bay Community College Buccaneers and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after today's game. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. And now for tonight's starting lineup, first with the visiting Mass Bay Community College Buccaneers. At guard from Bridgeport, Connecticut, number two, Shaman Davis. At guard from Hyde Park, Massachusetts. Oh, excuse me. At guard from Basic High School, Bridgeport, Connecticut, number 11, Adrian Lopez. At forward from New Britain, Connecticut, number 21, Jerome Hardy. At center from Acton, Massachusetts, number 23, Deadlier Mathlier. And at forward from Framingham, Massachusetts, number 33, Colin Myers. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At center, a freshman from Bodwell High School, in Istanbul, Turkey, number 24, Hakan Ada Koban. At forward, a freshman from Shea High School in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, number 21, Malik Muhammad Hesta. At forward, a freshman from Taunton High School in Taunton, Massachusetts, number 15, Corey Green. At guard, a freshman from New Bedford High School in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Number five, Steven Torres. At guard, from New Bedford High School, number 13, the Pope, Quincy Pope. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you will please rise for the singing of our national anthem from our own Lucy Cabral.
All right, what a beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem by our own Lucy Cabral from FRC Media. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Bishop Conley High School here in good old Fall River, Massachusetts. I'm joined by none other than the Portuguese cowboy, the phenomenal Craig Salvador. Craig, how you doing? Nice for you to join us. Doing good, yeah, a little late on it. Thought the game was at eight, but turns out it was seven, so I rushed my way down here, made it right before the game started, though. And this is a big game, Dave. Remember last year, Mass Bay was the team BCC just could not beat, whether it was the regular season or the postseason. But this is a new team, a new Mass Bay team, a new BCC team, so definitely excited to see how this one turns out. Definitely, definitely. Bristol Community College, the Bayhawks, coming in at six and oh, six and oh in Region 21. The Mass Bay Buccaneers are four and two, six and two in Region 21. So here we go. Here's a tip off with Malik Muhammad Hester elite jumping off for the Bayhawks and the Buccaneers win the tap. Something and this one, this one's underway. Something to note too, this is a new starting lineup. There's some new guys in uh, the starting lineup we haven't seen start too much this season. Well, you know, Bristol Community College, they 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 run deep. So uh, Rob Dale Lou changing it up here and Corey Green at the point. Steven Torres in the backcourt with him. Here's Quincy Pope, pulls up from the elbow. Jumper coming off, no good. Mass Bay with the rebound. That was Daddy Armathlia with the rebound. And here come the Bucks. Bucks getting into their offense. Playing man to man, the Bayhawks. And they're gonna, yeah, they're going to call a move and pick. They're going to call a move and pick on number 21. That's Jerome Hardy. Yeah, Jerome Hardy tried to set the screen, but again, just didn't plant his feet. Jerome Hardy, one of the returning players, if you remember, Craig. And Mass Bay went to the national tournament last year. They finished in the Elite Eight. And they beat this Bayhawks team twice last year in the postseason. That they did back-to-back -back weeks. Yeah. Coban. Colin can't get rid of it. Yeah, he can't. Here's Hardy. Hardy is a workhorse of the Buccaneers, being guarded closely by Pope. Driving to his left, kicks it to the corner. Nice strong drive there, and he's going to get fouled, I think, by Arda Coban. And that's number 33 going to the line. Colin Myers, another returning player from that Elite Eight team. Yeah, if you remember last year, Mass Bay played um, the Bayhawks in the MCCAC tournament in the semifinal down there in, uh, at Quinn Sigamon High School. That was a highly energetic game. It went down to the final second. BCC missing a shot at the buzzer. Lost that game in heartbreaking fashion. And then the next week in the New England Regional, in the New England Regionals, Bayhawks lose again in another game that went down to the wire. Corey Green, strong drive to the hole, puts it above the glass. Can't get it to go. Here come the Bucks. Bucks like to run. Got the numbers, but the Bayhawks get back on defense. Oh, nice save there by number two, Shimon Davis. Yeah, he saved that one. Oh, nice defensive play by Coban. Green getting out on the break. It's to Hester, and he'll lay it in. Nice fast break there by the Bayhawks. And they have an early lead here. Three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Pope. Had to leap to save it. Bayhawk swinging around the perimeter. Pope, the jumper, in the lane, gets it to go. Quincy Pope, the returning sensational sophomore, and the captain from New Bedford High School. That's your boy, the Pope. Pope does a great job creating space, taking the open two. Wow, long air ball there by number 11, Adrian Lopez. Quincy Pope driving to the hole, missed it, but cleaning up the garbage is Arta Coban, the freshman from Turkey. Six to one. You know Coach Rob Del Lue wants this one. They want to avenge the loss. If it's my memory, I believe the Bayhawks lost here last year to the Mass Bay. They did as Coban tried to get a block, couldn't get it. Yeah, Mathley are going to the hole just to the outreach, outreach hand of Coban. Energy in the building right before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Here's Quincy Pope. Looking into Coban. Coban, six foot six, getting trapped in the corner. Oh, Green. Green's got all the space. 
Can't get it to drop. Three-pointer by Green from the wing. No good. That's his shot, though. Hardy swings it in the corner. Myers for three. Drains it. Colin Myers. Not to be confused with Seth Myers. From Framingham High School. Six foot five, draining the three, and it's tied 6'6. Six, six. Ladies and gentlemen, we're streaming live. We got the live stream going. Coban gets it. Gonna go to the line. Got the entry pass from Pope, went up and gets fouled. And and you talk about uh, you talk about different lineups. Uh, Craig, we are we're missing the um, I don't, I don't even see him on. Oh yeah, Joshua Winbush, the freshman uh, stalwart from Barb High School in Lake Charles, Louisiana, who was tremendous in the last game that we broadcasted last week. He had all around. He had all around game. He had about 19 points. He had about four or five blocks. He was all over the boards. Not in the starting lineup today. Nope, I do believe he's over on the bench, so we'll probably see him later on in this game. But, yeah, as you said, not in the starting lineup. Hakan Koban in his spot. We usually see them kind of be interchangeable. They're the two tallest players on the team. But as of now, Josh Winbush not in the game. I think Winbush has a stronger – well, he has a, he has a stronger all-around game, but I think he has a much stronger skill set, especially, especially offensively and defensively. But – Coban is definitely raw. Coban misses the first free, first free throw. These two teams could be on a collision course to face each other in the postseason again. Seven to six, Coban makes a second. Driving to the hole, swoops to the hoop, puts it up and in. Shaman Davis. With a strong take to the basket, and he gives the Bucks the lead. A lot of time left in this one, though. If you're just joining us, 16 minutes left to play in the first half. Rematch from last year's postseason. Mass tournament and New England tournament. Out long outlet pass from Hester to Green. Inside, here's Shaman, get all the size, puts it about the glass, strong move. Nice move by the freshman. And BCC regains the lead. It looks like one of those games, Craig, this is going to be back and forth. Yeah, I might see this all day long. Oh, tried to save it, couldn't get it, got out of bounds. Jerome Hardy tried his best to get to it. Jerome Hardy's built like a bull. Six foot four. Hard-nosed player. You talked about BCC having some tall players. Look at Mass Bay. They got guys 6'5", 6'6", all down the line. That's true, and they don't look like it from this vantage point. This looks, it looks solid. BCC will turn the ball over. I believe he stepped on the line or went off his leg. Mass Bay looking to inbound the ball. As you know, the Bayhawks love to pick up man-to-man -man full court and press. Si Myers picks up his dribble. Malik doing a good job staying on him. Yeah, Malik, and he's getting the start today. Here's Hardy, 15 on the shot clock. Goes to his left, drives. Can't get it to go. Here comes Quincy Pope. Pope coming driving the all the steam. Yes, coast to coast. Drops the dime in. 11 to 8. Quincy Pope taking it the length of the court. And Stephen Torres. Yeah, too much contact from Torres. Yeah, Stephen Torres was riding... Uh, Riding Shimon Davis there like a bull. 11 to 8. Again, welcome to our live stream. I'm David Cardoza along with Craig Salvador. And you're watching Bayhawks basketball here live at Bishop Conley High School in Fall River. Driving to the hole, Shimon. And they're going to call a foul. Looks like it's going to be on Corey Green. But they're going to wave the foul off. It wasn't in the act of shooting. It was before the, before the uh, potential lay-in there. Got him on the drive to the basket. 
And Mass Pay Coach doesn't like the call, thinks it should be a free throw. Oh, open, too wide open there, but he missed it. Mathlier missed it. They had a good inbound play there, but. Oh, nice oh, bounce nice. from Torres. They Pretty double, passing. Yes. Yes. Pretty passing from BCC. Yeah, they double Hester, and Hester found the open man, found Coban. This could be Coban's day, Craig. He's already he's scoring pretty big early on. Myers dumps it in to Mathlier. Gets it taken away by the Pope. Thou shall not steal, but in this case, the Pope will. <laughs> Torres for three, drains it. Boom! Steven Torres from NB. And just like that, it's 16-8. BCC getting the momentum going. We've had a lot livelier crowds this year, Craig, so far for home games. Three-point shot is up. It's no good. George Saravanos couldn't get it to drop. Length of the court pass. Green to Torres back to Green. I mean, back to Pope, I'm sorry. And Pope got it tipped away. BCC really pushing the ball up the court. And coming in for the Buccaneers, number 22, Troy Appleberry. And number 11, Adrian Lopez going back in. And Mass Bay making quick substitutions. BCC has yet to have a sub in. And just as I say that, Zachary Viega is getting ready. Green from the elbow. Nothing but net. CG. And Zachary Vega, one of the big stalwarts for the, for the Bayhawks, one of the big offensive stalwarts. Key rebound and knocked away by Green. Gets in the pass lane. Swoop it to the hoop. Lays it up and in. CG, 20 to eight. Get a timeout, baby. Get a timeout, Mass Bay. All right, and BCC. BCC on 11 to nothing run here in the last few minutes with 13.09 to play here in the first half. All right, and since we're keeping it here, it's uh, Cardoza on the call with uh, Mr. Craig Salvador. And um, in two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, two weeks from this Thursday, it's going to be the dawn of a new era for the Dirty Water Sports Hour. Look for the Dirty Water Sports Hour to be on your local cable station here in the Fall River and surrounding areas on Channel 95, Comcast on your dial. Check your local listings for that. But if you want to listen to the show live, you can hear us on bccradio.org, 4 p.m., and listen to the replay at 7 p.m. on Thursdays. Thursday Thursdays are back, and it's the C team. It's Cabral, it's Cardoza, and it's the Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador, bringing you everything in Boston sports. We've got a lot to talk about. Celtics, 16-game winning streak. Ooh, it's a season of streaks. Bayhawks, six-game winning streak. Patriots, six-game win streak. Celtics 16 game winning streak. It's like green and white's a lucky color or something like that. <laughs> there you go, 20 to eight. We're live from a warm La France gymnasium and that's because the Bayhawks are heating up. And a foul away from the play. Zachary Vega drawing a first foul. Mass Bay finally gets it in. Lopez with the basketball. Now Hardy driving on Pope. Pulls it back, step back by Hardy, no good. Bayhawks with a turnover and then Coban loses it and they're gonna say it's off him. Even though it looked like Sebastian Dinas, another returning player from last year's Mass Bay team. Mass Bay with a lot of returning players but you know who they don't have. They don't, Craig. they don't have Zach LeButlitz or either of the Jimenez Fox brothers. Yeah, they don't have the Fox boys. Big Fox and Little Fox. Yep. And Zach LeButlitz, the one who stole the win, if you remember, in the first tournament last year. The little red-headed ant. Yep. Managed to make, I believe it was like, managed, I think it was like a five-point play, you remember? He had a... Yes. I think he had scored a layup. 
that made there was a technical the, foul. There was a technical foul, so he got two free throws off of that. And then you got the one from the initial foul. That first free throw missed by Didier Mathlier. And if you heard, if you see, if you watch the earlier, if you watch the start in lineups, when BCC was getting their lineups announced, the Mass, the Mass Bay bench made it so the announcer, the PA announcer, couldn't even announce the, couldn't even announce the names. Classless. And Mass Bay came in with a lot of Torres, injury. deep three, no good. Vega tried to go in for the offensive rebound, couldn't get it. Here's Myers going to the lane. Myers, remember from last a lot year. Of, a lot of contact in there, deep three by Hardy. Way off, wow, looking like Marcus Smart over there. Hmm. Building a brick house, here's Vega on the wing, driving to the hole, taking it strong, no good. Buccaneers come up with it, and they're gonna call a foul on Quincy Pope in the open court. Following Sebastian Dinas. And here's Joshua Winbush. Joshua Winbush coming in, coming in with Caleb Provitt, Stephen Torres, and Hakan Artikoban will step out. Corey Green remains on the floor, number 15, number 13. Quincy Pope still in the game, and, and also Corey Vega. Zachary Vega, number 10. Wimbush with the rebound. Mass Bay can't buy a bucket. They missed both free throws. BCC in a midst of 11 and nothing run. Green swings it. Mass Bay with his own defense going on. Yep. BCC doing their best to work around it, and they're doing a pretty good job right now. Quincy Pope for three, no good. Here come the Bucks looking to push. Bayhawks getting back. To, to the hole, oh my goodness, what composure. What body control, laying it in is Shaman Davis. Nice take to the rack. It seems like Shaman Davis has pretty much all of Mass Bay's points so far. I think you're right on, Craig. He's been, he's been their one consistent scorer. We got more subs, Corey Green will go out and Marcus Mitchell, number 30, will come in. Quincy Pope will step out for the Bayhawks. Number two, Damian Martin is out there with his former high school teammate from Barb High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. The home of the Miss Britney Spears, the pop princess. Dave Cardoza and Britney Spears, everybody. <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna meet her. Zachary Vega for three, gets it to go. Zachary Vega showing he has a three. We see him a lot of the times in the paint, but shooting from the outside this time. V, Vega. That's a deep three, and bang. Shaman Davis. You're right, Craig. He's the only instant offense getting it done in a myriad of ways. Was he on the team last year? He was not that I can remember. Yeah, that I can't remember because now Marcus he's just Marcus Mitchell going. way off, just hitting the glass. Shimon Davis is going to be the closest thing to going off that Mass Bay has so far. Oh, long pass. How did it get there? Oh, the miss. That was a nice pass from Sebastian Dinas. Oh, here comes Winbush. Oh, misses the jam. Davis pushing Davis. all the way. And he's going to get fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Davis doing a good job picking up fouls this far, but just in general, Mass Bay as a team, they have not been shooting well from the foul line this early on. And here's the guy that we haven't seen going into the game, Luis Rosario Rivera, coming in for Caleb Provitt. And Rob Dale Lou changing his players like a hockey team, like a hockey lines. Guys going in and out. Fresh bodies going in and out for a couple minutes. Shimon Davis can't complete the three-point play. Now we have Davis at the point. I'm sorry, Damian Martin. Here's Martin driving. Somehow it ends up to Rosario. Wimbush. <laughs> what a, hey, it works. It wasn't it to pretty, go. but it worked. Yeah. 
Wimbush didn't know where he was at for a second, but he regains the regains himself and puts it up and in. Gets his own rebound. I don't think he was expecting the pass from Azario. Hardy kicks it back out. Hardy driving strong. No, knocked away. Wimbush with those long arms. Out to Vega. Vega, you can't stop him. You can't stop him when he's like a locomotive. And he's going to go to the line after he completes the layup. 27 to 13. The home team on top right now. As you were saying earlier about Shaman Davis, I mean, it seems like when he gets a full speed ahead, no one's getting in his way. No one's, no one's stopping ball. No one's, nobody's, nobody's trying to front him. But he is drawing a lot of fouls, so I'm going to look out for it. BCC has, uh, or Mass Bay, I should say, they've, they've given up three fouls. BCC already has given up nine. That's true. So already nine fouls in just over ten minutes so far in the and game. His Rosario gets his stuff blocked, but he's going to get fouled by number 50, Vandy St. Joseph Jules. You must hate writing that name at school. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up as like a kindergartner or something, you get to do like penmanship. Mm. Vandy St. Joseph Jules is number 50. He's six foot five as well. And he's a center from Bethel High School in Florida, Miami, Dady, Florida. Rosario. Goes over two. Misses both free throws. Long pass, wide open. Is Jules, and he'll lay it in. Yeah, Jules is cherry picking. I thought that he almost he almost got tripped up. I thought he was going to get blocked, but he took his time and was able to get it in for two. Yeah, good job of Jules to regain himself there. Cross court pass to Mitchell. Nice quick pass to Martin. Vega on the drive, back out to an open Mitchell. That's his shot. No good. Tipped. Buccaneers with the basketball. Little stutter step, and they're going to call trap. A legal screen they're going to call on Vandy St. Joseph Jules. And Corey Green coming in for Luis Rosario. Corey Green, one of the highest scorers on this team throughout the season. 9 0 to play. There it goes. Nice ball movement, Green to Mitchell, gets it, finds Vega down low, 30 to 15. <laughs> 15 seconds left on the shot clock. And Mitchell playing good defense Hardy, on Hardy. Three, but it doesn't matter. Drains it home, eyeballs. 30 to 18. Mass Bay with that half-court trap. Martin to Vega in the corner. Drives past Myers. Mitchell wide open from the wing. No good. Tipped. Tipped by Green to Vega. And he'll lay it in. Stolen by Martin to Vega. And they're going to call an offensive foul, though. And Mass Bay is going to call a timeout. Timeout on the floor, 32 to 18, as we broadcast a live stream here from Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. The home team, the Bristol Community College BayHawks, on top. BCC so far in this game, once again, not limited to one score. Zachary Vega, so far he has nine. Behind him is Coban with seven. Green and Pope both have four, along with Torres having three. Wimbush and Hester, two. BCC not really shooting too much from the outside right now. They've only gotten two free uh, two three-pointers on five attempts. But BCC showing great passing so far, good passing into the paint, getting easy two-pointers. Yeah, BCC playing well here to start. Looked like Mass Bay was going to hang around for a while, and it's, it's still, believe me, it's still not, you know, it's we're far from over, let's say that. Adrian Lopez. 
Bayhawks playing man to man. Nine on the shot clock. Oh, thought Wimbush had the steal there. Going to the hole is 23, Didlier, Didier Mathlier. 32 to 20. We know the Bayhawks, sometimes they like to let teams hang around. Green catches at the elbow. Back to Mitchell. Setting the pick. Here's Wimbush. Oh, try to get it to... Try to drive baseline and get it to Pope and get it knocked away. Davis up to Lopez on the lay-in. And just like that, it's a 10-point lead. Bayhawks pushing it right back. Vega dumps it into Wimbush inside, lays it in. Bayhawks picking men all over the court right now. Inside. Oh, he gets it blocked. Wimbush blocks the big man. Martin. To his, to his high school teammate, Wimbush, gets the block on one end, lays it in on the other. What a player. And this is what you've been wanting to see all season, Dave, getting the ball to Wimbush so he can score. Because you know he can do it. Gets it done on one end, gets the key block, blocks the big man, blocks Mathlier, who's six foot six himself. But Winbush has that long wingspan, and he blocks him on one end, runs the floor, and he gets rewarded. Late, gets, gets the assist from his old, his old high school teammate. Just, just last year, both went to Barb High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. And those two getting it done. 36 to 22, 648 left to play here in the first half. BCC controlling it. All right, as we keep it here in our live stream, Craig, who is the leading scorer right now for the home team, for the Bayhawks? That right now is Zachary Vega. He still has nine points so far, four for five from the field with one three-pointer. And he has been the, one of the higher scorers on this team throughout the season, along with him and Corey Green, both consistent 20-point, 25-point scorers. You know, Josh Wimbush is right up there, too, usually getting 19, 20 points a game. So this BCC team, they got a lot of guys who can score. That's for sure. Definitely not a lack for firepower here. Bayhawks coming out the coming out the gate six and zero, oh. and Zachary Vega coming off the bench for nine points. And Martin is going to foul Shimon Davis, number two on number two crime, and that's ten team fouls for the Bayhawks. So Buccaneers are going to be in the bonus. They'll be shooting two free throws for the the rest of the first half. They really need to take advantage of that with how much BCC has been fouling them, but they've been struggling from the foul shot line. And Shimon Davis, Davis will get that one to go. Yes, they have been struggling. Shimon Davis, six foot one point guard. Trains both free throws there as you say that, Greg. And here's Dwayne Martin. Wimbush gets the ball at half court. Kicks to Green. Here's Martin. Corey Green from the wing. Three-point shot. Rolls out. Rebounded by Myers. Here comes Hardy. Hardy in the corner. Driving to the basket. Still no shot. Ooh, putting up with the left hand. No good. Rebounded by Winbush. Buccaneers couldn't get it to fall. Winbush gets the ball at the three-point line. Now down inside in the block. That's a mismatch on Myers. It'll drop in a little baby hook. And that's what I want to see, Craig. The big man getting it done off the bench now. Ooh, Bayhawks all over the basketball. There's a turnover. They just impose their will on you. Martin takes it to the hole. And he'll get fouled. He'll go to the line for two.
right, Dwayne Martin will go to the line for two shots, 38 to 24. Bayhawks with the lead, and the first free throw is missed. Martin second free throw. Another miss. Horrible free throw shooting night for everybody. Winbush loose, trying to get on top of it. Loose ball on the floor. And they're going to say it's blue basketball. Possession arrow in favor of the Bucks. Malik Hester coming in for Damian Martin. Hester started this game. Yeah, this Bayhawks team goes about 10, 11, 12 deep. They're a monster. And they get after it. They get after it defensively, as a lot of Bayhawks team teams have done. Oh, nice crossover. Hardy going to the basket. Drops it. Nice, nice play there. To Mathlier. You know, I didn't notice when you first said it, but Jerome Hart definitely is built bigger than I thought he was. Yeah. He's like a little Charles Barkley out there. He's very sturdy. Drive to the hole, Green kicks it back out to Torres for three. No good, loose ball, Torres gets his rebound. Good job by Torres following it up. Great hustle, Green back to Torres. Torres finds Pope for the long ball, no good. Torres with another offensive long rebound. His third of the possession. They double team Wimbush, Wimbush puts it above the glass, he gets it to go. The beast. Incarnate. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I had to finish it. In the paint, Hardy. Nothing doing. 40 to 26. Torres tele telegraphs that one. Oh, no, no carry. Oh my god, he carried the ball twice. Fall away jumper by Myers. No good. Rebounded by Matthew. Oh. And then somehow it gets it to go, but. Wimbush with another block. He loves, he loves, he loves swatting Mathlier's stuff from the free throw line. Green, no good. Oh, goes up, falls in, gets the shooter's touch. Green seems to get those. He's got that soft touch, gets it to roll. Shaman, the jumper off the glass. Corey Green driving, trying to find space, create space, and just backs away with it. Corey Green dribbles, dribbles and bibbles, kicks it back out. Torres for three in the corner, no good. Right there is Joshua Winbush. BCC has been struggling from the three-point line, but they've always had someone to pick it up for them. That's for sure. When you got a guy like Winbush, six foot seven, and that long, monstrous wingspan. There's margin for error. Swoop it to the hoop. Underneath, puts it about the glass and in. That's Hardy. These are the two guys to look out for for Mass Bays, Shimon Davis and Jerome Hardy. They're really making up their entire offense. And Hardy is a returning starter, returning beast from last year's team. That helped. about it. Yeah. Drop it in. Working it inside. There's Hester. Back out to Green. Open for three. BCC cold from the, from the perimeter. BCC's not shooting as well as they have in past games on the perimeter. Yeah, BCC just shooting two for 10 as a team from the three-point line. You say three for 10? Two for 10. Oh, two for 10, yeah, only 20% today. Checking into the game is St. Joseph Jules, number 50, and number 11 with the basketball is Adrian Lopez. Tried to get it to Hardy, but Pope stole it. But it goes out on him. Yeah, he get it knocked, knocked it out of bounds. 44 to 32. So Mass Bay hanging around, and we've seen BCC have leads like this before, where they let the other team just hang around, hang around. Sometimes that, that could be like playing with fire, but we'll see. We know Mass Bay likes to come back. Drive into the hole is Manthlier, and he gets fouled by Winbush. Winbush just wanted to swat his stuff once again. Mm -hmm. 
you're just joining us on live stream, 209 left to play here in the first half. Home game for the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Here in good old Fall River, Massachusetts, home of the Braga Bridge. Home of Battleship Cove. And home of the most beautiful campus here in southeastern Massachusetts for a community college, Bristol Community College. Changing the world learner by learner. 44 to 34, 10 point lead. Mass Bay hanging around. BCC not shooting well from the perimeter. Not exactly the back and forth we were talking about, but still a close game. Yeah. Damian Martin kind of tripped up. but Green, Green dumps it into Winbush. Sticks with it, and he gets fouled. You know, you talk about these other guys, Craig, for the Buccaneers, and you say, like, you get a bunch of guys that are 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". Why does Winbush just seem like he's, like, seven feet out there? He just has a bigger presence. He knows how to throw his body around more. The wingspan definitely does help, but he just knows how to throw his weight and really just tower over everybody, even though he's only a couple inches taller than everybody. A couple inches taller seems like 10 inches taller. He's six foot seven. A little bit slight. Well, two, you know, 202 pounds, which is, a, which is okay for this level. Might have he beefed up a little bit. Put on about 15 pounds, put 15 pounds of muscle, 20 pounds of muscle. Be unstoppable. Missed both free throws, 44 to 34. Minute 40 to play in the first half. Hardy gets it stripped away by Green, but the Buccaneers get it. Yeah, Hester looked like he tried to shovel it to someone, but it just got intercepted by Mass Bay. And now um, Hardy, I believe he stepped out of bounds there. Needless to say, the Buccaneers Turn the ball over, and Coach Rob Del Lou, eighth year head coach, will call a timeout. We'll keep it here. Bayhawks call a timeout. Coach Rob Del Lou in his eighth season as the head coach for the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. And he's had several, several great winning seasons. But has it, his team hasn't been able to get over the hump. We've seen a lot of deep playoff runs where you know, they've, they've made it to the finals of the MCCAC tournament. They've been to the finals of the regionals, and they've faced Bunker Hill in the past, but they've never been able to get to, um, to the big one, to the big dance, and that's what we're hoping for this year. But this Bristol Community College Bayhawks team just seems like a different team coming out of the gate. They seem like they, like they just don't get rattled like I think other teams in the past have. They, when, they, when they're faced with adversity, like last week, who was it when they were playing um, – who was the last game we we did the broadcast? Uh, I think that was broadcast. Roxbury. Yeah, with Roxbury, they had they had leads. Roxbury kept coming back, you know, made it a close game, kept narrowing the margin. But BCC, you know, never flinched. They did what they had to do to get the win, and they won some close games here early. And this is a this is a deeper team. They got a bunch of guys that can go, and they'll play man to man defense the whole game. They'll get in, they'll get in your shorts. They'll cause havoc. And this year they got some height. They can block shots. You got Joshua Winbush, six foot seven. You got Hakan Arda Koban, six foot six. And also Malik Muhammad Hester, who's a big, sturdy, six foot two, 225 pound, you know, beast. 44 to 34. So we get some size. And a lot of speed. And a lot of guys that can shoot and score. Corey Green. The Pope loses control of it, but he's going to get fouled, and they're going to call a foul on number 23, Didier Mathlier. And Pope will step to the line. And we, we, know we, we talk about all these guys, Craig, you know, Winbush and, you know, the new guys like Zachary Vega. And we forget about this guy, one of the leading scorers on last year's team, one of the big reasons why the Bayhawks had a great season last year. And won a lot of games and was one of the top two teams in the in the region was because of this guy. Yeah, remember he was the talk of the town last year, and um, it's nothing to say, uh, you know, it's nothing against him this season. Maybe he just kind of gets lost in the shuffle with just how many, you know, great players we have this year. 
you know, but still very effective. He finds himself in the starting lineup constantly, so he's definitely out there for a reason. Oh, he's a great player. He just doesn't have to do, he's not called upon to do as much. Yeah, he doesn't have to carry the team as much. Going strong to the hole is Hardy. Missed it. Mathlier misses it too. Yeah, Winbush got the block and then Pope got the rebound. Yeah, and Win Win Winbush is such a, he's such a force out there. He's such a rim protector. Winbush catches the ball at the elbow. Trying to get the ball to someone. <laughs> Less than a minute remaining. Shot clock running down. Off the glass. Green gets it to drop. Always has that sweet roll. Just when you think it's going to drop out, it rolls in. CG in effect. Whew, it's getting warm in here. Starting to feel it in the between, sweat box. Yeah, between that and the caffeine. 27. I mean, 15 on the shot clock. In the corner, Shaman Davis gets it. Buccaneers won't go away. Shot clock is off. BCC looking to hold for the last possession here of the first half. Dale Lou calls out the play. Vega, can't, I mean, Wimbush catches it, throws it down to, to Hester, who couldn't get it to go at the buzzer. Davis, don't think it would have counted anyway. All right, on the live stream. FRC Media presents Bayhawks Basketball. You're watching Bayhawks Basketball. I'm David Cardoza alongside here with Craig Salvador. And at the half, 48 to 37, your Bayhawks have the lead. And we'll be back after this for a second half action live from Bishop Conley High School in Fall River, Massachusetts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. And what you're looking at right now is TV gold, radio gold, and the two best looking announcers, woo, and all the South Coast. All right, so Mr. <laughs> Mr. Craig Salvador, first half, 48 to 37. Uh, Bayhawks have the lead, and what'd you see out there in the first half? Right now, just a lot of good, spread out, unselfish basketball. You know, we got the leading scorers. Your boy, Josh Winbush, is leading the charge with 12 points right now. Zachary Vegas, not too far behind him with nine. Corey Green, one of the highest scorers on this team, he's got eight, along with. Uh, Hakan Koban, he scored right at the gate, getting seven real quick. Been quiet since, is he still at seven? Then Quincy Pope with six. Steve Torres has three, then Maham Hester has two. So again, a pretty spe uh, spread out uh, game. BCC not doing good from the three-point line, but they've been making up for that because they've been able to recover, get a lot of rebounds, and score from the paint, get a lot of two-pointers. And not doing too well from the three-point line. The last week time we checked, they were two for ten. From the three from the charity stripe, but like you said, my boy Joshua Winbush getting it done on both in the both ends of the floor on the defensive end. He's been a defensive presence with his length. And um definitely, definitely the Buccaneers are, you know, thinking twice when they go inside the paint to face that beast. And how about the new starting lineup for the for the Bayhawks? Not going with the traditional starting lineup with one bush in the middle. Come out with a little bit with a little bit of a new look. Zachary Vega not getting the start, but those guys coming off the bench and making a huge impact. Talking about Winbush, talking about Vega. Yeah, that they are. We got the original starting lineup back out with Quincy Pope, Steve Torres, Akon Coban, Malik Hester, and Corey Green all in the game right now. Yes, and we're underway. Second half action in this rematch of last year's postseason in the lane. Corey Green can't get it to drop. Buccaneers with the basketball. We're underway from the river. Jamon Davis in the corner to Lopez. Hardy, deep three. No good, bounces out. I think the foul's gonna be on Hakan. And it is. Yes, they will call it on Hakan, Ada Koban. And going to the line is Didier Mathlier, six foot six, center. Went to Acton Boxborough High School. And, he's and not actually, actually no, he's got I guess it to... wasn't in the act of shooting. Wow, okay. I think it was off the rebound, so. Either way, Mass Bay coming up with it. Meyer goes for three. And he couldn't get it to go. Pope with the rebound, pushing it as green. On the wing to Hester. Back up to Pope. Pope driving to the hole, puts it above the glass and in. Strong take by the Pope. Quincy Pope. 50 to 37. 
Pope himself has been great on the rebounds. He has grabbed eight so far in this game, and he has eight points to match. And we talked about him not, uh, not having to do as much. He's doing other things for this team, and Shaman Davis will go to the, go to the rim. He'll get the ball knocked out of bounds. BCC starting off this season, hell's a blazing. Off the inbound pass, landed in is Mathlier. Off the inbound pass from Davis, nice inbound play. 50 to 39, a lot of time left in this one, just, just getting underway. We're just scratching the surface with this one. If history tells us anything, we're in for a thriller. There you see our intern Sean comes up with the basketball. <laughs> That's going to be a good shot on the camera. Sean and John. On the camera work is John, John the intern. Don't worry, we'll get a nickname for you, John. Yeah. <laughs> Pope on the wing, looking to drive on Myers. Takes it strong to the hole. Can't get it to go, but Hester is there to lay it in, number 21. 52 to 39. Hester, the freshman, goes at 225, six foot two, 225. Yeah, not the tallest guy out there, but with his build, he knows how to throw the weight around. He knows how to play big. You wish you were 6'2. Drive it to the lane as Hardy gets it, gets it to go. Now you're just getting too real, Dave. <laughs> not the tallest guy, you said. He's six foot two. Going to the lane is Pope. He can't get it to drop. In the corner for three, Davis, bang! Dropping the trifecta, Shimon Davis for three, 52 to 44. Sorry, Craig, had to drop that in on you. What do you millennials say? I'm, I'm rashing on you. No comment. <laughs> rashing you. From the top of the key is Wimbush showing his, showing his diversity there. He could do it from the outside too, showing his range. Loose ball, Hester, down court. Here comes Pope, lays it up and in. 56 to 44, BCC on a run. If you're watching this live stream, hopefully you are if you just joined us. Ooh, kicking it back out. Colin Myers for three, the wing is good. And Colin Meyer had all the time in the world on that shot. Yeah, and they're hitting from the outside. BCC still out scoring, but only a 9 Oh, Winbush. Oh, my goodness gracious. Gets the first step on him. Nice fake there from Winbush at the top of the key, and then he drives it home. Because now you have to go out there and, and defend him near the perimeter. Yeah, Winbush is showing a great showcase in general. And I think the foul is going to be on Corey Green, and it is. I'm going to call Winbush the showcase. You just, the showcase is born today. The showcase, Josh Winbush. The showcase beast. Yeah. Well, he's doing it all. And Hester goes out. I see Zachary Vega coming in for him. It's so funny, you almost forget about Zachary Vega, and he's one of the leading scorers on this team. He had a chance for a triple-double the last game we broadcasted, but he fouled out before he could get enough uh, assists, I believe. Yeah, as Hardy misses, and here comes Vega, taking it the length of the court, coast to coast, rolls it home. V. Ega. 60 to 47. Bayhawks doing what they do best. Tormenting the other team. Deep three, Shaman. No good. Rebounded by Mr. Showcase. Here comes CG. Pop. Oh, look at the popper from the. Oh, my goodness. Torres for three. Was that a loss of words? Green looked like he was going to pop it from the elbow, but he swung it to Torres. Torres, Torres has it right back. Yes, he does. Oh, what a block. What a block by Davis coming out of nowhere. Holy crap, Davis. And airmails it to the outside, BCC ball. Yeah, airmails it to the bench. Getting wild here. 
We have to talk about that block. That's going to be one for the highlight reel. Yeah, that's yeah, for the Mass Bay highlight reel. I, I don't think uh, Steven Torres is going to want to see that one again. He got shellacked, 63 to 47. And BCC putting on a good showing here in the first five minutes of play here in the second half. 63 to 47, 16 point lead. And the Bayhawks looking to roll to 7 and 0 before Thanksgiving. All right, for all you that are watching on the live stream, two weeks from this Thursday, two weeks from Thanksgiving, the Dirty Water Sports Hour will be reborn, resurrected, revitalized. Rebuilt, reclaimed. <laughs> Rebuilt and reclaimed. It's the new look Dirty Water Sports Hour with Cardoza, myself, and uh, Portuguese, the Portuguese cowboy, Mr. Craig Salvador. That's me. And <laughs> for anyone who didn't know, and the great Lucy Cabral. With all of her talents, it's the Dirty Water Sports Hour broadcasted um, on bccradio.org at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. for the rebroadcast, but also check your local listings on FR Media, channel 95, on Comcast on your dial in Fall River and the surrounding areas. And check us out for the simulcast. So you can catch us on bccradio.org or you can catch us on channel 95, FRC Media. Yep, as Dave said, the best looking broadcasters in town. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wimbush. Vega, drive it to the hole, lays it in, and the foul. And the BCC bench loves it. And so does this capacity crowd here in Fall River. You can see Mass Bay's coach, he was actually getting upset because you could see Josh Wimbush fall up his shot and get his own rebound. And he had to go a long ways to get it. Josh Winbush is dominating, doing whatever he wants to do. I'm telling you, BCC has a weapon that they haven't had. They haven't had a six foot seven guy with the wingspan, with the length, with the uh, with the skill set of a Josh Winbush. A guy that can run the floor, block a shot on one end, run back the other way, get the dunk on the other end. I mean, that's the kind of guy that Josh Winbush is. Plays de plays defense. His length is very disturbing. He's a presence in the paint. Like I said, he can block shots. He can force guys to miss. Chain, chain shots. People think twice. Don't think they don't. When they go on the lane against Mr. Winbush, he gives them a different dimension that the, that the BCC hasn't had. Could put him over the top. Well, Corey Green almost came up with a steal. Deep three by Shaman. No good. Rebounded by Myers. New 24 now. I'm um, excuse me. New 30. 30 second shot clock for the Bucks in the corner for three. No good. Tipped. Loose ball. And the Buccaneers somehow come back with it. Yep, sliding all over the place. Davis dribbles. Dribbles. Back to Myers. Going baseline and lays it home. Colin Myers for the deuce. I remember last year, Colin Myers, he was a big asset for this team off of the bench. Now he's one of the starters, and he's been one of the bigger contributors as Malik oh, tries to, to slam jam. it down, oh. can't get it. Where did, that come, where did that come from? Oh, Malik Hester wanted to bring the house down. Instead, just kind of got caught up. And now a little confusion on the court, and they're saying it's a foul on Steven Torres. Gee, I don't, I don't, know, how, um, I don't know how Malik Muhammad Hester... I don't know how we get up that high, only only being six foot two and all. <laughs> but that definitely came out of nowhere. He's like he's a big guy, 225 pounds. That was like a slow elevation. 66 to 49. Oh wow. Okay then, Shaman Davis taking too many steps. Yeah, and it's going to be BCC basketball. Dwayne Martin will come in for Stephen, Damian Martin, I'm sorry, will come in for Stephen Torres for a substitution. Bayhawks looking inbound. Hester catches in the corner. Back up to Pope. Martin at the point. 
Martin taking his time with it, trying to direct traffic. No need to rush, you got the lead. Just trying to look for quality shots. Here's CG, drive it to the hole, uses his body, no good, tipped. And Quincy Pope will come with the rebound. Nice skip pass in the corner. Corey Green with a good pass. Yes, nice. How'd that ball get there? Pope for three, bounces up and in. Takes a while to fall, but through divine intervention, it goes in. The Pope, Quincy Pope. Myers for three, no good. Rebound by the little guy. Martin looking to push. Vega on the wing. Oh, they move. They move the ball so quickly. Well, as Craig likes to say, they have a great. They have a good passing game. Am I the <laughs> one who says what, that? What is this? The roast of uh, Craig Salvador today? Yeah, I guess. Take it away by Shaman. Shaman going length of the court, all the way to the hoop, lays it in. They'll call they. This isn't the NBA, they won't call it continuation. Crush my dreams, why don't you, Dave? <laughs> the dream crusher, Dave Cardoza, all, the always humble Dave Cardoza. The dream killer. Going in will be Adrian Lopez. He'll come in for number 12, Sebastian Dinas. Also coming in is number 10, Joe Sullivan. Oh, how they leave him all wide open. And that's gonna that's going to upset Coach Del Lu. Easy lay in for the Bucks off the inbound pass. Here's Martin driving to the hole, puts it up and in. No, oh, couldn't get it to go. It's a volleyball game going on. Yeah. Yeah. And Mass Bay wins that volley. For three, no good. Joe Sullivan couldn't get it to go. Mathlier, nobody's rebounding. And he'll, on, the, on the third attempt, Mathlier gets it to go. And BCC missing the showcase right now. Mathlier one of the, quietly becoming one of the bigger scorers for Mass Bay right now. He's quietly racking up points. Yes, he is, especially without Winbush there. But here he comes. Yeah, the showcase comes back in. for the undersized Hester. Marcus better Mitchell let, coming in. Better not let him hear you say undersized. He'll <laughs> step on me. Yeah, he's like 220, yeah, he's solid. And completing the three-point play will be Didier Mathlier, 69-54. This game not finished by any means. This is the lineup right here, Craig. With Mitchell out there, you got shooters, you got slashers, you got big bodies. Vega back it in, six foot four. Can't get it to drop. Rebounded by Colin Myers. And Lopez driving all the way. Now oh, he's nice give it drive. Away. Oh, what a block. Nice block by Winbush. Lost it immediately, though. Jumper in the corner is buried by Hardy. But Winbush, boy, he keeps blocking Mathlier's shot. Knocked away by Lopez. Lopez doesn't have the numbers, but he'll go to the hole. And he's going to get fouled by Mitchell. Ah, I thought it was a good defensive play by Mitchell, reaching back and getting the ball, but they're going to call. A second foul on number 30, Marcus Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell looked like he had him all the way. Lopez had no one to pass to. He had to take it himself, and Mitchell was all over him. But again, just too hard on the smack, I guess, and comes up with a foul. Yeah, didn't I thought he had all ball. Here's someone we haven't talked about too much in the game coming in. Troy Appleberry, six foot five forward from Urban Science Academy in West Roxbury, Massachusetts, coming in from Mass Bay. Urban Science Academy sounds like he's smart. He's wicked smart. <laughs> you beat me to it. I was watching The Departed earlier today, so <laughs> get to hear Matt Damon's over-exaggerated Boston accent. <laughs> I know who talks like that. Yeah. It's bad too. Matt Damon's from like the area, so yeah, I know. The Departed. 
Leo DiCaprio. Oh, geez. It's funny because those guys are all old now. True. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are like all OGs to you. Yo, geez. 70, 70 to 58. That's us young people. You young folks. I mean, every girl so my age is still obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio, though. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Don't you hate when the old guys get the young girls? I used to hate that when I was, like, a little teeny bopper. Hmm. <laughs> 71, <laughs> 71 to 58. There's going to be a travel. Haven't seen too many travel calls today, but a couple on Mass Bay in this half. Only a 13-point lead. Lots of time left. BCC needs to put the pedal to the metal. But they're learning how to close out these games, something that they haven't done as well in the past, in past seasons. Mitchell can't get that one to drop. Here comes Colin Myers. Sounds like a talk show host. Gets it in the corner. Three-pointer by Lopez, no good. Coming off, Martin looks it up. Oh, Winbush goes through his hands. I thought he was going down for the jam. But Winbush couldn't quite hold on to that one on the pass from his high school teammate, Damian Martin. Who's the late, who's the late night sh um, talk show host who took Jay Leno's place? Uh, Jay Leno's place. Yeah, he does a late show. Anyways, Vega with the rebound. Up. Oh, to Corey Green. Lays it in on the pass from Vega. Beautiful play. Corey Green looking like a wide receiver, looking like Brandon Cooks over there. The green, the green machine coming in and laying it in. Yes, sir. 73 to 58. And a beautiful outlet pass by Vega on the previous possession. Green looking for it the whole way. Catches it. Not, not easy to do, catches it in stride and lays it in. And uh, Steven Torres will come in. And we're going to get a timeout on the floor by Coach Robbie D, the man who's built this program from the, from the floor up. And 73 to 58, almost halfway through this second half, 10.09 to play, 17 fouls for the home team Bayhawks. They've had a lot of fouls called on them, only two for the guest, Mass Bay Buccaneers. The defending New England, the, def the reigning defending New England champions who went to the uh, national tournament last year in Minnesota. Basically part of the Elite Eight in the NJCAA, the NJCAA version. The reigning defending. <laughs> All right, so 73 to 58. You're watching the live stream here at Bishop Conley. Home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars and also the home of your Bayhawks. Colin Myers. Swishes home the first one. And he'll go two for two from the line. Two for two by the talk show host. 73 to <laughs> 73. Talk show host. <laughs> 73 to 60. He just needs that mic in his hand. Here's Martin. Martin. Almost got a screen from Pope, ran right past him, though. Torres for three from the wing, drains it home. Torres for three. And Torres has been one of the more consistent three-point shooters. He's three for six from the outside, which is the high right now for BCC. Yeah, Torres have himself a quietly a good game. How many points for Torres? 
I know he's had a few threes. He's had a few threes. He has had nine altogether. All of his points coming from three-pointers. Lob it in. Rebounded rebound. by Torres. Out to Green. Green with the speed. All the way to the hoop. Can't touch him. Can't touch this. 78 to 60. Shimon Davis. He gets it knocked away Corey by Green. Green. The Green Machine, the Green <laughs> Ranger going for the layup. C G. Knocked away. Oh, he's wide open oh again. My God, the Green he's, Machine, he's, the Green Ranger. Uses <laughs> the Green Ranger. Oh, man. Master of the nicknames on this show. Corey Green. Boy, he can score so many points in such a flurry. Like he's just running up and down the court. He never gets tired. He can hit the, he can hit the long ball. He can stretch out. Yeah, he is at 14 points right now. Last game, remember, he had 25, and it was a quiet 25 too, because you were, uh, remember, Josh Wimbush was getting it done all around. Well, meanwhile, Corey Green was just racking up points. He was just left racking and right. up points. And yeah, that's he what he does. He's a quiet presence. He scores a lot though, and I think he's one, if not the leading scorer, he's one of the leading scorers on this team. Constantly getting 15, 20, 25 points a game does Corey Green. But he just does it so, he just does it so quickly. Like he can get a couple steals or someone else gets a steal, he's running the break. He's constantly, he's always out there on the wing running the break. Yep, listed at five foot eight, 165. He plays very like poachy defense. He stays off his defender and that allows him to get so many steals because he's so quick and so yeah, agile. He, he can rack up so many points off steals, gets in the passing lane. Like I said, he's always run the floor and he takes it he takes it to the hole with reckless abandon. It seems like, like you said, he's, he's of shorter stature, but it seems like he doesn't get his shot block. He knows how to use his body. He's very controlled. He elevates, and just such a tough, such such a tough shot, such a soft touch. Easy for me to say, <laughs> but he's got a, such a soft touch with his with his shot. And when he's when he's up there in the lane, floating him in or laying him in, he's such a. Such a graceful game. And he hasn't been able to show it off too much this game, but he also is very good from the outside. He's a very consistent and very good three-point shooter on this team. He's the man. All right, two shots here for Mr. CG. 80 to 60, you look up. I mean, that's what BCC does. They could be up by 10 or 12 one second. You look up, they're in a flurry. And next thing you know, they're up by like 21 or something. Like right now, 81 to 60. CJ Green effortlessly putting in two free throws. Both free throws made. <laughs> 82 to 60. BCC in control of this one with under nine minutes to play. Hardy driving to his right. Great, great defense by Pope. Green staying with it. Loose Gets it ball. To Martin. Martin staying with his dribble. Oh, Martin. Martin buzzing like a bee. Nice bounce pass to the college teammate Winbush. Out to Torres for three. No good. Elevating his Pope. Corey Green thought about pulling it. You see Winbush smiling. He thought he was going to get the pass. <laughs> he thought he was going to get his pass. Get the pass from his. Eighty-two to sixty, eight twenty-three to play. BCC looking to go to seven and zero to start off the young season. Here's Wimbush at the top of the key, showing the dribbling skills. Shot clock Gotta shoot down. it. If anybody can do it, it's Green. Oh, Get it's green that. From green. C G. Jeez, Corey, the Green Machine. Corey Green from Curryland. Going to have to rename it Coryland after how far he shot that three-pointer. Yeah, you said he's a Green Ranger. He looked like the Lone Ranger all by himself out there, and he gets it to drop. I say Winbush is the showcase, but Corey Green is the dynamo. He's the engine that makes this whole thing go, I think. With that three, he puts himself... As the leading scorer, 21 points in the game for Corey Green. 
That was a heartbreaker, Craig. He ripped the he ripped he ripped Mass Bay's soul out. Here's Martin. He's gonna give it to Green. To Green. The this to win push. The lay in. <laughs> Goodbye, Mass Bay. Goodbye. Good night. And we've been talking Put about the him. Kids to bed. And we've been talking about him a lot, but that's a great job from Corey Green, stretching as far as he can, handing it to Winbush because he knew he wasn't going to get a shot or really be able to position himself to get a shot. Go to Ma go to bed, Mass Bay. It's going to be a long ride home tonight, baby. Josh Winbush sitting at 18 points. So BCC has two players close to 20 on the game. Again, Corey Green is 21, so he's already passed that. Winbush close <laughs> and definitely will be reaching that mark soon enough. Yeah, looks like BCC has potential to get past the century mark. And like I said, they just rack up points in bunches, and everybody, everybody contributes. Next thing you know, you get five or six guys that are in double figures or near double figures. Everybody contributes. Everybody's got skills. Everybody can come in and play. He's got a lot of interchangeable parts. When I talked to Coach Rob Dale Louis, he's like, we're deep. This is like the deepest team he's ever had. And they're still missing. They're still missing a guy. Stolen by Mathlier. Can't get it to go. He must have heard the footsteps of the showcase. Going the other way, Martin. God, this BCC team so fast. Oh, Winbush. Get oh, that was a nice look to Vega. I'm sorry, Pope. Corey Green for three, and he's going to get fouled. He's going to get fouled on the on the three-pointer, so he'll go to the line for the trifecta. It is steamy in this gym. Right, John? Thumbs up. Corey Green couldn't couldn't hit the first one. He's got two more to go. <laughs> two more. Well, Corey Green does make the second one. 88 to 62. Dave Cardoza checking out the live stream right now. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Corey Green. Nothing but net. So pretty. It's pretty. It's so pretty. Shimon Davis being guarded closely by Torres. The talk show host from three you bangs it home. It. I was about to say that. <laughs> Colin Myers. Late night with Colin Myers. Steven Torres, full head of steam, gets it in. Going to be going to the line for the three-point play. Yeah, Steven Torres lays it in. Nice. He's having a good game. He is having a good game. Got the start today for New Bedford High School. Freshman. There's another player with and double figures. It's 11 points now, along with three rebounds. Three for seven from the three-point line. Has the most threes of anyone on the team so far in this game. That's what I mean. He's been one of their better shooters from the arc today. This is the extra point. Josh yeah. Wimbush gets the rebound, though. Yeah, Wimbush came out of nowhere, grabs a rebound. New shot clock for the Bayhawks. Oh, there's the alley oop. Oh. He almost made the shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Had what he wanted. I don't know who to give the miss to. Well, I think the ball was in the cylinder, right? Didn't it go? Didn't it? It, it at the, least the, the hit, ball rim. hit the rim. It was that's, about to hit rim. It yeah, looks that's like. a that's a shot attempt. I've seen a couple of attempts. I think Kemba Walker did it once, and the way his reaction was, he was just kind of like, "Okay," like he took it because he made it. <laughs> of course, we'll take credit for that. That was Sebastian Dinas with the make on the other end. In and out, Quincy Pope. 91 to 67. If you're just joining us here, the Bayhawks massacring. It's a Mass Bay massacre today. 
It's Beast. revenge from last season, as Mass Bay was able to get the better of BCC pretty much every time. I'm sure if you ask if you ask Coach Rob Del Lou, this Shaman Davis can't get it to go. Winbush, if you ask Coach Rob Del Lou, I'm sure he thinks this may be nice. But it's only truly revenge if you can beat them in the postseason in March or late, late February, early March, when it comes down to the Massachusetts tournament, the MCCAC, if they can win that. But most importantly, if they can win the New England region, they'll dump it in. Nice pass of Corey Green to the Pope. And we have a super big game in our schedule next month, Craig. Bunker Hill will come here in a contest with Buccaneer. Um, Bunker Hill has come into the season as the 11th ranked team in the country. Yeah, it's always fun when Bunker Hill comes to town. I always expect a great game from them. Yeah, those are, those are going to be, at that time, those are going to be the two best teams in Region 21. So that's going to be a showdown, and that's in December. There's something a couple plays ago. Josh Wimbush grabbed his 10th rebound, so now he has a double-double for the game. Another double-double for that man. The lob it in. He can, comes down nobody with can, it. Yeah, nobody can get it. Wimbush grabs it in the paint, lays it up and in. Josh Wimbush. And he has over 20 points. Just another beautiful game by him. Three-pointer by Dennis, no good. I think they're saying Wimbush pushed off him. No, they're gonna say they're gonna call that a number 35. That's gonna be on Jasper Landrum, who's in the game. That's exactly what happened. He pushed off on the rebound there. He pushed Winbush. We're seeing almost a completely new line now. A lot of subs coming in. Believe it or not, just a little bit ago it was a 15-point game, and now it's almost a 30-point lead. So BCC almost doubling that. BCC on a hell of a run now. Wimbush can't get that free throw to go. We're in the home stretch of this one. Joe Sullivan for three. No good way off. Hester looking up. Nice pass to Wimbush. He'll throw it down and put the exclamation point on this one. 30 point lead. Holy hell. Feels like we're in hell now because it's so damn hot. <laughs> 97 to 67. <laughs> and Wimbush, I mean, he showed his outside game where he's been able to come out, stop and pop from the free throw line or from the top of the key. Blocking shots, dunking the basketball, rebounding the basketball. Blocking on one end, running the floor, dunking on the other end. He's just been super duper. And now BCC's up 32, 99 to 67 on the prefaces of a century of the century mark. Rolling up and in, no good. Loose ball on the floor. Can't get it. And then the Bayhawks come up with it. Coban comes up with it. Coban doing a good job throwing his body around, getting in front of the ball and grabbing it himself. Here's Vega. Marcus Mitchell with the basketball now. Mitchell looking to drive. Vega, baseline. Mondra's Coban. trying to give it away. Caban falling with it, tried to give it to uh, Malik. Malik lost it. Caban looks like he just needs to get stronger. Going to get him in the weight room. Getting bumped around a bit. He's a lean 208, listed at 6'6". Yeah, he weighs, well, he weighs more than Winbush. Long three there by Troy Appleberry. I mean, that was an ugly, ugly shot. Here's a guy that we haven't seen all game, usually in the rotation or starting, is Juan Espinol, uh, number one. Sophomore. Yeah, Juan Espinol, number one, and number 23, Caleb Provitt going in. Okay. Muhammad Hester will go out, number 21. Started today. Coach D, happy. Happy as a pig, and you know what? Rames Gomes with the basketball. Gets it inside. Going up. And it's a foul on someone. It's either Espinal or Provit. And it's on Espinal, who just in this game picks up his first foul. <laughs> 
Espinal with his Peter Pan tights on. <laughs> A lot of players got tights on. I think if they had, I think if they had those back in my day, I think I'd probably wear them. Because I was, I was a tall, lean, skinny kid. Are you about the accessories? Do you have the sweatbands and the headbands all the time? I had the, I had the, I had the sweatband. I put it up to like the, I would put it up like on the on the oh, bicep. You did the John Cena. On the bicep. <laughs> well, back then it was a Jordan. Jordan used to wear his thing up there too, or on the forearm, you know, or he had the John Cena. Didn't quite have the guns like Cena back <laughs> back then. What about now? <laughs> now I do. <laughs> At least it was Ario wrestling for the ball, holding on to it. All right, 2.37 left to play. This is a C team. C team minus one. Plus a couple. Plus a couple. C team and friends. <laughs> Sounds like a cartoon. <laughs> Long range three. Oh, off the glass and in. Did he call he... glass? CJ McIntosh? I don't think he did. No, I don't think he did. Doesn't count. I believe McIntosh was on last year's team too. 99 to 71. BCC looking for the century mark. And Mitchell will get followed by Joe Sullivan. BCC will move. I think it's safe to say they will move to 7-0 right here before Thanksgiving. And they got a 28-point lead with 2.16 remaining in the game. Yep, and I think they'll actually be able to enjoy that Thanksgiving. Maybe they'll even get it off. Maybe they'll even give them tomorrow off. Mitchell got the first free throw to go, so the BCC do reach the century mark in this game. They do. 101 to 71. And I think Mass Bay just begging to get this one over with. And the Bayhawks, despite being up by 30, playing hard to the very end. And I think that's something that that Coach D has has probably definitely emphasized with them. Playing to the last horn, playing hard. But Juan Espinal all the way to the racket, jams at home. Juan Espinal getting in on the act, and our table almost fell here. <laughs> this place is going crazy. I think people are excited. The bench is going, the bench is going crazy. It's stoic over there. Espinal, Juan Espinal, the sophomore, the slender sophomore coming off the bench. I haven't seen a lot from him, but he's making his name heard today, right now, with that slam. And he's loving it. He's flexing on him. <laughs> he gets the rebound. Coban. It's getting so crazy in here. Steve's got to hold the live stream, make sure it doesn't go down. Oh, man. Someone's going to go through a table. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to get the C team going, get a triple power bomb going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tables, ladders, and chairs. I guess I'm the big dog then. If I still had my long hair, I'd be Seth Rollins. <laughs> you totally would be. Get the blonde streak Seth, going again Seth. like 2012 Seth Rollins. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> the architect. The architect of the Bayhawks broadcast. Most must-see announcer. <laughs> Oh, it's always fun to use wrestling uh, references. Especially when probably half the people might not know what we're talking about, but there might be that one person who knows what we're talking about. There's the one viewer who's like, hey, I yeah, know what you're talking I know, about. Exactly. That's all that counts. If I can reach one person. <laughs> 103 to 74. Yeah, it's typically this part of the blowouts when we just start to have fun with it. Yeah. We like our close ones, but... Thought we were going to see a close one today, actually. It came out 
Yeah, right out the gate, it looked like we were going to see some back and forth, but BCC, once they got their footing, they just ran away with it. Yeah, and BCC did not shoot well from the outside. They did not shoot well from the perimeter at all. Nope. Deep three by McIntosh, and he'll nail it. McIntosh, a sneaky good three-point shooter. Yeah, where was he? They needed him in, the, in this game, period. Going all the way to the rack is Mitchell, and he'll get the foul. BCC just doesn't want to go away. They want to keep attacking. They're looking to bury Mass Bay. We remember... We remember what you did last spring, last winter. You will pay for your sins, says Quincy Pope. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt. Very underrated. And if you see that play, that kind of sums up Mass Bay right there. I'm more of a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sarah Michelle Geller. Did you see, you see um, McIntosh, he tried to pass to Mathlier. Here. Mathlier here just was not paying attention, sailed into the crowd. Doesn't surprise me. That's the way. Oh, oh, the PCC bench won another they jam. Won another slam. Espinal coming off, coming off the bench. He's like the microwave out here, heating things up here in the last five minutes. And you think about this guy, I mean, this guy who's been a starter, who's been a key part of the rotation, definitely has talent. He's coming up the be bench at the end of the game, heating things up. I mean, that's, what, that's how deep this BCC team is. It's crazy. Yeah, you do what you can with the minutes you get, and Juan Espinola is doing just that. I think Coach Rob Del Lutis wants him to show the effort. He could do this. There's another lane. That was a great pass from Marcus Mitchell. Oh, another one. Give Espinola, give, give, maybe he can get double figures by the end of this. The BCC with the shot clock off, they're just going to hold on to it. No. It's all over. Bayhawks win. So Mass Bay comes in here, the defending, the reigning defending New England Regional 21 champions. They get smoked. They get smoked in the home court of the number one contender, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. 109 to 77. Live streaming here at Bishop Conley High School. What a game. BCC with a tremendous victory. And they'll go into the Thanksgiving break. They start up the season 7-0. and oh. All right, so what a tremendous game, Craig. 109-77. to 77. BCC, BCC starts off their season 7-0. and oh. They beat the reigning defending champions of New England, of the New England Regional 21. They beat the Mass Bay Buccaneers here today. They smash them. What a great game by BCC, and BCC looks like they're well on their way. What a start to the season. Yeah, it was overall just a great game and another great team win. We had numerous guys in double figures. We had five, uh, five players in double figures, two of them above 20 points. Those, of course, were no surprise, Corey Green and Josh Wimbush. Corey Green with 23 points and seven assists. Josh Wimbush right behind him with 22 points along with 10 rebounds. And uh, he also had four blocks on the day, so really just another all-around great effort from BCC in this game. And a much different shooting effort in the second half here. Where in the first half, they were two for ten from the from the perimeter. In the second half, Corey Green draining three, Stephen Torres, and um, they were just they were just hitting from the outside. Yeah, so overall, just uh, another great win. But when it comes to our BCC play, uh, Bayhawks player of the game, I think once again we do have to give it to Josh Winbush with 22, po uh, 22 points, 10 rebounds, 4 blocks. Again, he was just getting it done from all ends of the field. And we call Josh Winbush the showcase because he just puts on a show. He does it on all ends of the court. So Josh Winbush, once again, is our Bayhawks player of the game. So join us again in the future for these beautiful live streams. Again, 109-77, to the Bayhawks win here tonight, beating the defending champions of New England Region 21. For myself and the Portuguese Cowboy, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media and the live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. Good night, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving.